Okay, everybody. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, Boolean statements and Boolean expressions. So, um, remember, a bool is anything that's sort of something that's true or false. So if I say Boolean x equals true, that means x is true. If I say Boolean y equals false, that means y is false. <clears throat> and if I print that, if I go ahead and print x, it prints uh, true because that's what it is. Uh, let's run it. And it prints true right there. Okay, so there's three operands for uh, Boolean expressions or Boolean statements. Uh, we use ands, ors, and nots. The way you write ands in uh, Java and in C++ for that matter is two ampersands. And for ors, two pipes, which is the key that's on the backslash. So you put shift and then that key. And then for knots, it's just the not sign, which is shift one, the explanation mark. Okay. So um, with these, you can combine or negate uh, Boolean expressions. So let me give you an example real quick. Um, if I do system dot dot print something that is true and false, then the result is false. So with ands, so we're talking about ands now. If I combine two booleans with an and or two boolean expressions with an and the result is either true or false based on each of the individual parts so if i'm using ands both sides have to be true for the whole thing to be true otherwise it's false so when i run this it'll it'll print false let me comment this first one out so if i go ahead and run this something that's true and false is false it's like saying i am alive and dead right one is true, the other one's false. You can't have them both false. You can't have them both. Um, so then the whole statement is false. Okay, so I'm just going to write this note real quick. With ands, all parts need to be true for the whole thing to be true. So I can put several parts. I can say something that's true and false and, let's say, true, right? I am Mr. Hagag and I am green and I am sitting in a chair. So I, two of those parts are true, one of them is false. The whole statement's going to be false because I'm using ands. If I'm combining stuff with ands, always every, it, everything has to be true for the whole thing to be true. So if it was true, true, and true, then the whole thing is true. Cool? Alright, so that's ands. With ors, it's a little bit different. With ors, if something is true or false, for example, let me comment this one out, then the whole statement is true. With ors, it only takes, so with ors, it only takes one true for the whole statement to be true. Okay, so at least one true is needed for the whole thing to be true. So uh, if something is true or false, then the whole result is true as it shows right here like i am mr hagag or i am made of cheese okay so it's true or false and the whole statement is true so even if i had true or true then the whole statement is still true the only time it's going to be false is if everything is false i am made of cheese and um i have green eyeballs okay that whole statement is false i mean i am made of cheese or i have green eyeballs still is false false or false is false okay uh, so that's ors with nots you just negate whatever is inside uh, what, what you negate whatever you have so for example if something is not true it's false so if I run that boom false if something is not not true it's not not true then it's true because not true that whole thing is not so not not true get it so double negation makes it uh, just eliminates the not sign. It's like negative negative three. It's three. Okay. So that's it for ands, ors, or nots. Um, if you have more than one in a statement, uh, you do the nots first, then the ands, then the ors. Okay. That's just the order of the operations, sort of like PEMDAS, but with um, with boolean expressions. Okay. Now, um, how can this be useful? 
Let me give you an example. Let's say I asked a user to enter in a number. So I'm going to quickly type this. Wow, that was quick. I'm going to ask the user to enter in a number X. <coughs> Actually, let's call it something else. Or, you know what, let me comment this out so it doesn't get confused. All right, so I have an X that the user entered. I'm saying, hey, enter a number, right? So, so enter number. And they enter in a number. And I save that inside of X. If that number is less than 5 or greater than 10, I'm going to print... Uh, so, so, hooray, right? Otherwise, I'm going to print. Boo! All right. So this basically says if x is less than five or x is greater than ten, print hooray. So that means one of those have to be true. So if something is like um, two. Right, let's let's run let's put in two. So let's enter a number, let's say I put in two. Two is less than five, that's true. Or uh, two is greater than ten. Is two greater than ten? No, false. So something that is true or false is true. So it should print hooray because um, this becomes true and then it goes into the um, part of the if statement that evaluates if it's true. Right? If I entered in, for example, if I entered in seven, right? 7 is less than 5? No, that's false. Or 7 is greater than 10? No, that's false. So false or false is also false. So then it'll print fail. Okay, so this is how I can do, you know, ranges of numbers. If I use ands, for example, if I say x, well, that's impossible, right? Something that's less than 5 and greater than 10? Impossible. If I say x is greater than 5 and x is less than 10, that means it needs to be between 5 and 10, not including 5 and 10. So if I if I run a number, and um, actually you know what this would be a good example. If I said something is greater than sixty-five, oops. <laughs> if I say x is greater than sixty-five, and x is less than let's say a hundred one, right, passing grade, and I enter a number, let's say they get a fifty, right? It says fail because fifty is not false. It's not greater than sixty-five, and it's false, not less than. Um, 101. So something that is false and true, right? Because 50 is less than 101. False and true, the whole thing is false because with ands, both of them have to be true, right? So I run that and if I put in, like for example, let's say I put in 200. 200 true is greater than 65 and false, less than 101. True and false is false, so it'll print fail. But if I enter in a number like 70, both sides are true, so then the whole thing is true. Oops. Yeah, 70. Boom. Hooray. Okay, that's it for Boolean statements. I'm going to be using them later on, so have a great day. Goodbye.